Hey, hey, hey. You're listening to Guat.Rocks, God, the World, and Other Things. Our mission, advancing the peace of Christ in the midst of an agitated world. I'm Kenny Price, your host. This is Season 21, Episode 448. Title, Mole Hills and Little Foxes. Subtitle, The Unnecessary Escalation on Minor Things, or Little Foxes Spoil the Vines. The phrase, don't make a mountain out of a mole hill, has a rich history. It means to exaggerate a minor problem or concern into something much larger and more significant than it actually is. The phrase has been traced back to at least the 16th century. It appears in Nicholas Udall's 1548 translation of Erasmus's Apophthegemes, a collection of classical Greek and Roman sayings. Udall writes, The sophists of Greece could through their copiousness make an elephant of a fly and an huge mountain of a molehill. This early usage shows that the concept of exaggerating small issues into larger ones has been part of the English language for centuries. The phrase gained popularity over time and was used in various literary works. Its imagery, comparing the small size of a molehill to the vastness of a mountain, made it a vivid and effective way to describe the act of blowing things out of proportion. The proverb was included in collections of English proverbs, ensuring its continued use and recognition to this day. The mole hill, a small mound of earth created by a mole, represents a minor issue or inconvenience. Turning it into a mountain suggests making it appear far more significant or problematic than it truly is. The phrase is often used to advise someone to maintain perspective and not to overreact to small problems or difficulties. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill remains a common saying in English-speaking cultures. It is often used in both personal and professional contexts to remind people to stay calm and not to let small issues escalate unnecessarily. Similar expressions exist in other languages, reflecting a universal recognition of the human tendency to magnify minor problems. Overall, the phrase, don't make a mountain out of a molehill, has a long history and remains relevant today. The phrase, the foxes spoil the vines, originates from the Song of Solomon 2.15 in the Bible, which reads, Catch for us the foxes, the little foxes that ruin the vineyards, our vineyards that are in bloom. This metaphorical expression is often interpreted in various ways. In a literal sense, foxes spoil the vines by gnawing on the roots and the tender grapes. Foxes are known to be agile and curious animals that can cause significant damage to vineyards by eating the grapes and damaging the plants. This kind of destruction can ruin a harvest. Metaphorically, the little foxes are often seen as small, seemingly insignificant problems or temptations that can cause great damage if not addressed. The proverbial molehill. In the context of relationships, it might refer to minor issues or misunderstandings that, if ignored, can undermine the entire relationship. In a spiritual or religious context, the phrase might suggest that small sins or distractions can hinder spiritual growth and spoil the good fruits of your spiritual life. Addressing these little foxes is crucial for maintaining a strong and fruitful spiritual journey. Whether interpreted literally or metaphorically, the phrase emphasizes the importance of addressing small issues before they grow into larger problems that can cause significant damage. Here are some modern-day applications of this proverb that came from the wisest man who ever lived, second only to Christ. Number one, neglecting small relationship issues. In marriages or friendships, minor misunderstandings or irritations, if not addressed promptly, can lead to bigger conflicts and distance between people. Regular open communication can prevent these little foxes from ruining the relationship. Number two, minor financial habits. Small, consistent spending on non-essential items can lead to significant financial strain over time. For instance, daily purchases of coffee or eating out frequently may seem insignificant, but can add up and impact one's budget and savings. That seemingly benign act of swiping or tapping a credit card to pay for life necessities like gas for your vehicle and food for your table. But these minor habits have resulted in the largest consumer debt in the history of the United States of America. As of the second quarter of 2024, total U.S. consumer debt has reached approximately $17.8 trillion. $17.8 
$1.5 trillion. This includes increases in various debt categories, such as mortgage balances, which rose to $12.52 trillion, and credit card debt, which increased to $1.14 trillion. Auto loans also saw a rise, reaching $1.63 trillion. While student loan balances slightly decreased, of course, because the government paid off some people's debts, it decreased to $1.59 trillion. The overall debt levels continue to grow, reflecting the complex economic landscape. I'll give credit to the different sources that I'm quoting from to get these numbers. Number three, ignoring early health symptoms. Minor health issues, such as persistent coughs, small lumps, or unusual fatigue can indicate more serious conditions. Early detection and treatment are crucial, and neglecting these symptoms can lead to more severe health problems. Number four, procrastination in work or studies. Small delays in procrastination in completing tasks or studying can accumulate, leading to missed deadlines, poor performance, and increased stress. Consistent minor delays can derail larger projects or academic goals. Number five, neglecting routine maintenance. Skipping regular maintenance for vehicles, homes, or appliances might save time and money in the short term, but can lead to significant repairs or replacements in the long term. Regular upkeep prevents these small issues from escalating. Number six, overlooking seemingly small ethical compromises. Minor ethical lapses, such as small lies or cutting corners at work, can gradually erode one's integrity and lead to larger moral failures. Maintaining high ethical standards in small matters helps build and preserve trust and character. Number seven, disregarding emotional well-being. Small stressors and emotional issues, if not managed, can accumulate and lead to anxiety, depression, or burnout. Regular self-care and seeking support when needed are important for mental health. By addressing these little foxes, these molehills early on, you can prevent larger problems and maintain the vineyard of your life, whether it pertains to relationships, health, finances, or personal integrity. And with that, my friend, I bid you the peace of Christ.